Your spa's filters are critical to maintaining the clarity and sanitation of your spa's water. We will now discuss rinsing, cleaning, and changing your spa's filters. This will include how often to rinse and clean your spa's filters, removing the filters, rinsing and cleaning procedures, and when to change your filters. Your spa will prompt you with a maintenance reminder which alternates monthly between rinsing and cleaning the filters. Following these reminders, you should rinse one month, then give them a good thorough cleaning the next. This is based on normal use. Filters should be visually inspected weekly if you're a new spa owner. This will allow you to determine whether or not they may need more or less care. Before you remove the filters, you need to turn off the spa's pumps. Running them without filters can damage the system. You can do this by either setting the spa to standby mode, as explained in your owner's guide, or turning off the spa at the GFCI breaker. Locate the filters. Remove the access lid if necessary. Remove the filter lid by turning it counterclockwise until one of the tabs on the basket is aligned with the cutout portion of the filter lid. The lid will then be free to lift away. Turn the filter counterclockwise to release it from the Easy Lock filter screen. Then lift the filter slowly from your spa. This is a good time to check the amount of debris in the filter. If you typically find a large amount of debris in the filters, you should check and rinse them more often. If there is little or no debris, you may be able to wait longer in between cleanings. At this point, it is also advised that you clean the inner filter screen. Once the filter has been removed, you should be able to see the filter screen, which is located inside this black plastic housing. Insert a flathead screwdriver into the clip and pry it out from the housing. Once one clip is loose, you should be able to remove the entire housing. Pull the inner filter screen out of the Easy Lock housing. Rinse with high pressure water from both inside out and outside in. Place the inner filter screen back into the housing. Make sure the grooves line up so that the filter screen fits completely into the housing. You can now reinstall the Easy Lock filter screen. Line up the clips on the housing with the tabs at the base of the canister. Then apply firm pressure until the clips grab. Squeeze the Easy Lock on the sides perpendicular to the holding tabs to more easily lock it into place. Place the filter upright in an area within reach of a garden hose and rinse the filter under moderate hose pressure directly into the pleats. Go around the entire filter, sweeping the hose from top to bottom, then turn it upside down and repeat. You should see the dirt and contaminants rinsing away from the filter. Your water care guide recommends that you change the spa's water every four months. During a spa drain and refill, it is also recommended that you deep clean your filters by soaking them in a cleaning solution every other month. You can do this once the filters have been rinsed. Follow the directions on the filter cleaning solution bottle, which is often called filter cleaner or filter degreaser. Please consult with your dealer to determine the proper cleaning solution to use. Do not use household cleaners on your filter. Be sure to rinse the filter thoroughly before reinstalling it into the canister. Most filter cleaning solutions instruct that you also wait until the filter has dried before installing. After one year of service, Dimension One recommends replacement filters be installed in your spa. If this is a new spa, we recommend that you keep an extra set of new filters on hand so that you're ready for a replacement whenever you need one. Your filters may need to be cleaned and replaced more or less often depending on use. Now you can reinstall your filters and lids and prepare your system for use according to the Dimension One Water Care Guide. If you have just drained your spa and are cleaning the filters as part of the clean and refill, please refer to the Spa Startup Guide.